chapter four. Back in someplace I can't pronounce. Is that Resimbul? They'll say it soon enough. Hyrule? Here we are at last, Major. This is Risenbull, our hometown. Risenbull. Got it. Hmm. The crisp, clean air. Such a quiet, peaceful place. My god, I have a fabulous mustache. <laughs> he even twitches it. I told you we didn't need a bodyguard. As soon as my arm's fixed, I'm cutting you loose, Major. Oh, oh please don't cut anything loose on that man. Please. I want, I want, I, I want everything just as covered up as it is. What do you say, Edward Elric? You must learn that there is no shame in accepting another's help. There, there, there's no shame in you, either. One with true strength acknowledges one's own weaknesses with humility and accepts help at times of need. Okay, can we just keep going now and leave you away? Okay, okay, I gotcha. By the way, this is the first time I've ever met an auto mail mechanic. There's a shop still a ways from here. Well, we're still at a throwing distance, so I guess we're still a ways away. See that house over there? That's it. They give me a discount because <coughs> I'm an old customer. They do good work. Come on, we're almost there. I wonder if Ed's gonna make that reflex save. Yes. Um. Okay, that was relevant. Welcome, boys. So good to see you. <laughs> hey, Auntie Panaco, I need your services again. It's been a long time, Auntie. Auntie. Alex Louise Armstrong is the name. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, madam. I'm Panaco Rockbell. The pleasure's all mine. Well, well. One, two blondes. Ed, you've gotten smaller since the last time I saw you. Ouch. What? Who are you calling small, you bite-sized old hag? Oh, he's not polite. Oh, now you've said it, you pipsqueak! My throne, turn up size bowl liquor! Good lord! You half bunted floozy! Flea circus performer! Bride shrimp egg! Damn it, Ed! Incoming! Yow! Called it. Didn't make the save. See, there it is, a wrench! It's always a wrench. How many times do I have to tell you to call me before you come in for maintenance? <laughs> right up! Uh, wait, Ray, are you trying to kill me? Possible. Oh, hi, Winry, we're home! Such a weird name, Winry. Winry, is that is it like German? I think it's German. It sounds like it could be German. Boobs. <laughs> welcome back. Eh. Wrench for Ed, welcome back, and boobs for Al. Eh. So, welcome. <laughs> you obtained. Amazon wrench! Perfect! <laughs> oh, that's great. What? what? What happened to your arm? Well, it came off. Yeah, about that. It got busted into something like a million pieces. I need it fixed, fast. Ed, I want answers. How did you wreck the best auto mail I've ever made? I put my heart and soul into that. And Al 
was all busted up too? You've been getting into some real trouble, haven't you? No. Well, I mean, I'm scared. <laughs> Don't blame me. I'm Cutting, just cargo. Building, fine tuning, and finishing. Then this, that, and the other. Ugh, more all nighters for sure. <laughs> Listen, I know I'm asking a lot, but can you finish it all in like a week? Don't insult me. We'll have it done in three days. But I'm gonna have to charge you extra for the rest job. <laughs> just build the government. Still, that's three days of waiting. It's nice to take a break every once in a while. Let's enjoy it. I'm a box. Taking breaks just ain't my style. I'm gonna break something if I can't find something to do. Wait. Brother, I've been thinking maybe you should visit Mom. I'm a box, so I can't go anywhere. I'll stay here. I don't want to bother the Major to carry me around. You should go while you still have the time. Visit her grave, huh? You're right. I'll be back in a while, I guess. Okay. <clears throat> Moving on. My god, they float around his head and everything. Mr. Armstrong, was it? I was hoping you could tell me something about the daily life of those boys. The macho men? Oh, no, that's just me. As rural as we are, we don't get much news from the city. And those boys haven't sent me so much as a postcard since I left. We're gonna have another long-ass cutscene, aren't we? I worry about them, that's all. The Elric brothers, especially Edward as the Full Metal Alchemist, have garnered quite a reputation around Central and in the East. Cities. As the unfortunate result, they do get pulled into a wide range of troubles from time to time. Do you think those pink stars that float around his head are like the, uh, Earthlink logo? They're not really there, they're just sort of a symbol. But it's alright. You take my word for it. Those boys are strong. Is that like an alchemy power to summon those things around his head? I mean, can you change the color of them, or, you know, how they spin? Strong, eh? That's right. Like four years ago, when Ed transmuted his brother's soul by sacrificing his arm. Or the uh, other incident we don't like to talk about. Or when he decided to become a dog of the military. Woof. Or when he withstood the pain of automail surgery that would make even a grown man cry. He did not shed a single manly tear! I wondered how he could have so much strength in that tiny body of his. And it's because he is so strong that I worry. I worry if he could recover in the off chance that he'd stumble. Wait. That's what this family is here for, is it not? But, but wait. This family. But wait, what? Yes. That's the case, isn't it? I've watched those two grow up since the day they were born. Oh, okay. I guess. Let's go home, Den. Everybody's waiting. Oh, I thought that was a picture that we were looking at. No, it's a, it's a scene. Okay. Can we, uh, can we start busting heads You're again? Ready. Here it comes! Here what comes. Ow. Oh, there we go. when the nerves connect gets me every time. Don't be such a baby. Now go ahead, move it around. How does it feel? I'm gonna stand in my attack pose here. It feels great. Now, I know you're gonna slack off, so I increased the percentage of chrome to prevent rusting, but... Ow! I'm coming to fix ya! Never mind. Would you please listen to me when I'm talking to you? <laughs> I, I like her angry face better than Ed's. Front yard. Oh! I'm gonna finally get to bash some heads in. Better yet, I'm gonna get to beat the head in of Al. Yes! 
Your arm looks great, Ed. We can always count on Auntie and Winry, huh? I'm a box! Yeah, I guess. Okay, Al, it's your turn to be fixed. Ready? Can I still be a box? I think I work best as a box. That's not a box! He needs to work better as a box! I keep telling you, he looks best as a box. Really. He does. I feel great! Thanks, brother! But I miss being a box. Don't mention it! Well then, shall we? <laughs> shall we? What are you two about to start now? We're gonna beat the shit out of each other in an effort to prove uh, dominance over each other in the family. Just a little sparring practice. Gotta make sure my limbs are working. Or whatever you want to call it. Besides, we haven't been able to move for a while, so we need to get our chops back up. Get our chops back. It's an odd phrase. Oh ho! Then I shall join you in your pugilistic pursuits. No, we're fine. Please keep your shirt on. Literally. Okay. Um, wait, what? Uh. Ugh. Come hither, tots! All pulled punches shall be promptly punished! I, 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 um. Just moving on. <laughs> Edward Al says something to make him stop. Ed says something to make him stop. Hmm? Such hesitation! If you're not coming for me, then I am coming for you! What was the point of those little, like... Behold! The artistic physical combat trading secret number one, according to the Armstrong tradition! Dancing back and forth like you have to go pee? Thank you, Ed. That was my reaction. I'm gonna start out our exercise today with a light jog. 